Alianda Primary School in Aripezu Village, Terego District was started in 2014. The pupils here endure the tough conditions to get an education. Primary one learners study under the trees, improvising seats with stones and bricks while using their lap as a desk. Some sit on the ground, others squat, while others kneel. This environment affects their concentration. Classrooms are not enough. That's why we take them outside the trees. The school is near the road, the roadside. Whenever you're teaching here, they will just be looking. Any, if any motorcycle passes, they will be seen by the roadside. So uh, for me, I, I control that by saying that you people, please help me. You have to look at the chalk, or look on the chalkboard. The primary two learners endure similar experiences. Others study in makeshift structures. Without a roof on the rundown buildings, they sit down under the scorching sun, while others find space on the windowsills. The school has four classrooms. They help in the rain formation. What else? This is a primary six classroom of Alianda Primary School in Terego District, a vital institution within the community. This classroom, small as it is, it accommodates 63 learners. Despite the importance of this school within the community, it operates under challenging conditions. Some of the learners study under trees without desks. They sit on the floor. When it trains, students seek refuge in a church. The church doubles as a kindergarten, but with limited resources, multiple classes coexist. We wait for the rain to stop, so that they move to their various places of learning and to, to start another teaching. Teachers also lack staff rooms and make use of the trees. These are the answers which we have given, and there are some answers which are here in the book which I'm also going to add. Most teachers have only O and A level qualifications and earn meager salaries, which are reliant on student fees. Learners pay 20,000 shillings a term. I stopped in senior four. Because of fees, I never went with further education. I've chosen to come here because I want to, I don't want to be reluctant there at home. I also need to pass my knowledge to, to, to those who are lacking. Teachers here devote their time and expertise out of goodwill. The teachers here are not paid. Of course, there is no money which is much collected from parents for paying the teachers. Parents are just paying little money for buying chalks and also to, to provide some little food for the teachers to be eaten here. That's why you see mostly trained teachers who come here when they find that there is nothing for paying them, they just leave. What is keeping me here, this is my place. I'm helping my community members and even my brothers, my sisters, even my children are here. And some, uh, some parents, even a whole year, they will not pay any single cent. But still we allow the, people, we allow the kids to sit for exams. The school had 20 candidates who sat for the primary living examinations in 2023. None passed in Division 1. I registered them with another school. Not here, because we are not having a code. We never get first grade. Three of them passed in second grade. Nobat Atkunda, NTV, tonight.